Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is the place where you get edified with yours truly, Dr. Eddie. How you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Check this out. Are we connected on social media? Come on, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and it don't stop. Connect with yours truly at Eddie Connor Jr. And, and while you're doing that, I want you to make sure that you're part of our academy where it is a holistic connection of thought leaders, gifted individuals who understand that their network determines their net worth. And we do that through the prism of faith, identity, relationships, speaker training, financial empowerment, and so much more in our masterclass and our sessions where you have access to all of our on-demand classes. You just want to enroll now. You can do that by going to DrEddieAcademy.com. Revolution not only be televised, it will be digitized. And you need to strategize. Check this out. I want to share. I want to share from the whole perspective of do you know your assignment? That's what I want to talk about. You knowing your assignment. And, and generally that, that phrase is uh, a can do it of the whole social media buzzword she knew the assignment <laughs> uh, generally you'll see a, a, a sister not only praying but slaying um, uh, she got her hair done nail done everything did as she fancy huh right she got her hair whipped dipped fried dyed and laid to the side but there's a fine line between knowing your assignment and completing your assignment hear me intentionality is the key that's going to unlock the door of opportunity for you, but also for me too, right? And some of us are so sensitive that we're not decisive because we allow our unchecked emotions to just totally put us in shambles. Vivian Green, the, the um, R&B singer talked about emotional roller coaster, right? You, you have your ups and downs. We're, we're so confused because we're comparing, we're competing, but here's the real question. Are we completing the assignment that is on our lives? You gotta understand this, a job is what you're paid for, but your calling and your purpose is what you're made for. What is it that you were created to do? Come on, for real. You, you, were, more, you, were, you were born to do more than pay taxes and bills. <laughs> Right. You, you were more to, you were born to do more than just the bare minimal. Right. The, the bare minimal will not be the bare minimum will not be the lot of your life. But you got to understand that you got to get into a place of knowing your authority, your authenticity and being able to walk boldly and confidently in who it is that you are. What is your assignment? Jesus said, I must be about my father's business. Uh, Nehemiah said, I'm doing a great work and I can't come down. Why should I come down and leave the work to come down to you? I'm not coming down to the level of people. You're going to have to come up to my level. What is the business that God has given you to complete and fulfill? Right? You, you'll never be the CEO, the, the chief executive officer, if you're not the CEO the chief encouraging officer of your own life. What are the words that you're telling yourself about yourself to yourself? Listen, Henry Ford said, uh, whether you say you can or you can't, you're both, you're right. Right? If you keep saying that you're a failure, that will amount to the lot of your life. If you keep saying that you can't do something, you never will step into it. You've got to speak life over your own life. And you can't be so emotionally driven because emotions can never be trusted. Emotions are never permanent. That's why they're called emotions. The word emotions comes from the word motions, right? It's, it's motion, it's movement. Emotions go from one extreme to the next. It's moving from one to the next. It's continually changing. And in a world that's continually changing, you gotta be foundationally set, right? You gotta be, what does the scripture say? Steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You, emotions will have you happy at 3 p.m. and toe up from the flow up at 7 p.m. Come on, emotions will have you 
you know, sad one minute, happy the next minute. Emotions will have you in a place to where the mo the morning, the moment of the morning is so beautiful, but the evening is so ugly. Emotions will have you in such an in 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 an unchecked driven state to where okay you want a burger at 1 p.m. but now you want a, a a steak at 7 p.m. you have to get a gauge and a handle on who it is that you are because if you're so emotionally driven you'll never complete your assignment you'll always be vacillating you'll always be up and down you'll always be in and out you got to get a handle on that and and here's a way to get a handle on author uh, Robin Sharma talks about this 90-91 rule. The 90-91 rule. I want you to adopt this in your life because it's going to work wonders for you. He says this, and I want you to take onus and responsibility of this for the next 90 days. I want you for the first 90 minutes of your day to focus on the one thing that's going to move the needle in your industry. Listen, I don't know if you're a professor or a painter. I don't know if you're uh, a teacher or a trucker, but for the next 90 days, I want you to focus on the one thing for the first 90 minutes of that day. That's gonna move you forward and move the needle in your industry to open up doors of opportunity. You, you gotta ask some seriously critical questions here. Who are you? What do you want out of life? What were you created to do? What is your assignment? Who, where are you going? And then also, who do you want coming with you? Right? Um, what did Babe Ruth say? Yesterday's home runs don't lead to today's points. Yesterday's home runs don't affect today's scoreboard. What happened yesteryear is yesteryear. What happened yesterday is yesterday. Phil Jackson of the Chicago Bulls, the former coach of the Chicago Bulls, said, uh, you, you're only a success at the moment you commit a, a, that you complete a successful act. You have to continue to do it over again. Right. You, you can't just get high off your own supply of the success that you had yesterday. What are you doing today? How are you moving the needle? How are you challenging yourself? Beyond motivation, what are you doing to move into a place of determination? And, and a lot of times we're so focused on what everybody else is doing, but are we clearly cut and centered on what we were created to do? You know, they say it takes 21 days to form a habit and that's actually wrong. <laughs> we, we've been lied to, we've been uh, uh, duped. According to the Journal of Psychology, European Journal of Psychology, it takes at least 66 days to form a habit. Can you give yourself a gift for the next 66 days to where you're solely focused on achieving the goal, on setting the good habit, on breaking the bad ones? Can, can you do that for yourself for the next two plus months? And, and beyond the 21 days, into the 66 days. And why is it 66 days? Because uh, according to the Journal of Psychology, it takes a minimum of 66 days because it moves us into a place of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity, uh, getting our brain involved, moves us into a place of automaticity. Wouldn't it be in incredible to have your whole vision, to have your whole drive, dream, and determination on autopilot? Right? To where if you didn't go to the gym, you wouldn't feel right. To where if you didn't work on your book, something would feel off. To where if you weren't creating content or, or moving the needle forward in your industry, it, it, something just wouldn't feel right because you've become so purpose driven over those 66 days to where you reached a point of automaticity. That's what it's got to get down to because research indicates that we spend at least 2.1 hours a day being distracted. Oh, come on, don't don't act like you're not distracted by your phone. Don't act like you're not distracted by uh, the new song or the app or the TV or you Netflix and chill instead of network and build. Come on, talk to me now. Come on, don't look at me in that tone of voice. 
It is, it's true. We spend 2.1 hours a day being distracted. Now, of the 2.1 hours a day being distracted, it takes at least 21 minutes to refocus our focus after being distracted. We got to take inventory of our mind. We got we, we just can't allow our mind to just be shifted like a, a, a ship tossed to and fro on the sea. We have to have laser focus because we have all these things that want to distract us from our destiny. We have all these things that want to distract us from our purpose. And then rather than walking in a place of distraction, we've got to walk in a place of determination. We have to. Right. We've, we've got to get to a place to where we're actually focusing on that specific goal beyond just uh, knowing the assignment. Here's the question. What are you doing to complete the assignment? I, I wish when I was in high school, I wish when I was in college that I could just get good grades. I could pass my statistics class. I could pass algebra and geometry and history and science in all the math classes just by knowing the assignment. Well, I know it up here, but did I complete it down here? Did I complete it on paper? Did I complete it by emailing my work over? You don't get points for just knowing the assignment. You only get points for completing the assignment. And so many times we've been so focused on what everybody else is saying, what everybody else is doing. People's opinions now become your prison. Versus you moving into a place. I, I just want God to be approved. I want God to approve of me completing my assignment. I just want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Right? I've, I've got to know what my assignment is. Because when you know what your assignment is, you know what to take and you know what to leave. When you know what your assignment is, when you're focused on completing the assignment, now you move into a place of walking decisively, of having strategy in your relationships to where now you're pushing away purpose poisoners. You're getting away from drama and dream killers, right? And you're surrounding yourself with developers. You're not just being a person who is just a consumer. You're now a producer, right? You, you, you're not just a purchaser, you're a creator because you're so keenly focused on the assignment that is on your life, right? Every, everybody's connection is not yours. Everybody's relationship is not yours because you're solely purpose-driven on what it is. 66 days to form a habit. For the next 90 days, focus on the one thing that's gonna move you, move you forward in your industry for the first 90 minutes of your day. Now is the time to take inventory of it. In, in this day and age of automation, in, in this day and age of, of, of technology, what is your strategy? We are in a time of strategy, structure. We're in a time of, of being able to be strengthened through what it is that we are. We've got to find what that gift is and then we got to go for it. We got to be really laser focused with it because if you don't evolve, hear me you won't be involved. It's, it's one thing to know the assignment, but this is your time to be decisive and complete the assignment. Every single day, I need to get closer to my assignment. Every single day, I need to stay on the assignment. Every single day, I need to make sure that I'm checking myself, checking my mindset to where I'm not distracted. And if I am, I'm gonna to have to refocus my focus so I can stay focused on my focus. This is the time for you to go forward. This is the time for you to make it happen. You don't want to uh, live in a place of regret. Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you won't regret the things that you did, you'll regret the things that you did not do. You've got to make sure that this is not a time of regret for you as you move forward into your future. But you're taking inventory, you're taking onus now to focus on completing the assignment that is on your life.
Listen, I hope I said something that spoke to your heart, your mind, your soul, and your spirit that causes you to be lifted. I want you to do this. Give me some feedback. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Do that. Share if you care. Somebody needs this message. I want you to help me out by being able to spread the word. Much love, y'all. Stay empowered. Stay encouraged. Stay edified. Stay uplifted. Join the Academy for even more that we have in store. This is yours truly, Dr. Eddie. I hope you're edified today. I'll talk to you soon.